Well, hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. I've got my favorite new pair of leggings on I got a few weeks ago from Halara. Today's video is actually sponsored by Halara. And later on in the vlog, I'm actually gonna share with you guys a little try on of some of the great activewear that I got from them. So stick around for that. So now that it's winter, um, if you are someone who deals with eczema, it can really flare up quite a bit in the winter time. Oh. <laughs> Even though sweat is irritating to your skin, working out and staying active, it genuinely does make a difference in your skin health. It improves circulation with efficient delivery of growth factors to nourish the skin, improves mood, stress management, sleep. When your sleep is optimized, then healing and recovery can proceed most efficiently. Don't underestimate that. You know, all of the serums and things in the world but these healthy lifestyle factors, they really do pay off dividends. And it doesn't have to be like some intense workout. The new year coming up, everybody has these lofty goals, but honestly, just walking every day, parking a little bit further away from the door when you go to the store um, to get extra movement in, whatever you can do, it really does make a huge difference. And you know, you'll notice in your sleep quality, and just your overall mood, but it definitely has a trickle down effect to the way that your skin looks. All right, I'm gonna rinse this off and I have my little toasty toasts. But when it comes to exercise and skincare, I think people nowadays are getting a little bit too laser focused on like, do I need to wash my face here, there, do this, that, or the other? I mean, honestly, just work out and forget about, forget about it. Unless like, I, I think people just way overthink skincare related to working out. I mean, if you are someone who works out in a gym and then you have like a long commute, take a shower first if you can. Definitely change out of sweaty clothes because sweat trapped up against the skin, it's very irritating and it can cause breakouts on the rear end to flare up. But I mean, people get really hung up on like washing their face around working out. And I think it's just like, honestly, unnecessary. You know, and after you get out of the shower from rinsing sweat, well then, you know, put a little moisturizer on, um, put, you know, obviously sunscreen on if it's still daylight out. But I mean, I think people are way over, over, over fixate on skincare around working out. Coming in with the Whoa Glow. This is a tinted organic sunscreen with, pretty sure it has niacinamide. Uh, I love this. It's, it's one of my favorites that I discovered this year. It's kind of, it's, it's, it's pretty much almost as good as the Kroger one if you don't have access to Kroger or one of the Kroger family of grocery stores. This one's a little thicker in terms of consistency too, which is kind of nice for cold weather season. It's a little you know richer, more barrier protective, if you will. It's also a really good base for makeup too. Before I get into the try-on, I wanted to let you guys know that Halara has given me a discount code. DRE20 will save you 20% off full-priced items from their site. I absolutely love wearing activewear. I could wear it nonstop. One of the things I like most about Halara is that their pieces, you can easily style a variety of different ways. So you get a lot of use out of them. These particular blue paid off leggings are probably my favorite from everything that I got. The material is very soft, stretchable, durable, not see-through. Halara really goes above and beyond to ensure the best material for their items. You never have to worry about the leggings being see-through. And these particular leggings are actually pet hair resistant and water resistant, which is great because I like to do some runs outside. Here it will rain whenever at the drop of a hat and nothing worse than getting wet. I'm trying to show you guys here how they are water repellent. You can see the water beating up. This top is so cute. And you know, I have a hard time finding tops like this with the built-in shelf bra that have a V-neck, but this fits perfect. And what I like about it is it kind of flares a little bit out at the waist. Like it's got, I don't know if you guys can see, it's got the seam here. So you have a little bit that will go over your waistband as opposed to like kind of getting stuck there. Speaking of waistband, these sweats are perfect. They're just the right length. I don't know about you guys, but when it comes to sweatpants, 
I find that a lot of times they are like way too long, but these are just right. Like I don't want the sweatpants to be too tight. I'm like Goldilocks. Um, of course, pockets, everybody needs that. I like that it has the elastic around the ankle, but it's not like super tight. Then we have a pair of leggings. This is actually the perfect time of year for leggings for me because I can't wear them in the summer. It's too humid. But these green Speedwave leggings are particularly breathable and quick drying, so they're perfect for athletic activities. These are nice and high-waisted, which I find to be a lot more comfortable than like when they hit right here. And they have a nice little side pocket, really comfortable, and they really have a nice support right here. These are fun. They're wide leg. They're a little long to just go with flats, but if you have a little heel, they'd be perfect. And there's a nice little pocket here high-waisted with a button. The material is really soft. You have a nice pocket there. They also have a great selection of jeans. This has to be one of my favorite colors of denim. This, it's just basic blue, but it always kind of reminds me of like, I don't know, Mary Tyler Moore color, like something she would wear. I, this, this color of denim, I really like a lot. Um, and it's got a little flair to it. You can't go wrong with a black turtleneck. I mean, there's no, there's no limit to what you can do with a black turtleneck. It's always like, looks good in my opinion on anyone. Uh, and this one is really nice. It's the little tiny ribbing. So that's nice, very comfortable fabric. And then these jeans are really that blue denim that I like. And the flare is, the flare is definitely giving me the 70s Mary Tyler Moore. They're really comfortable and, and you're not gonna believe this. Look at the waist, look at the waist. I love it because it's really flattering, but it's not bulky. You got nice pockets. One thing about their jeans versus other jeans is they are incredibly stretchy and comfortable, which is huge for me. I don't like stiff, irritating fabrics. These brown pants are really comfy. They've got, they're ribbed, really soft, uh, drawstring. The elastic down at the ankles is just right and it has a nice pocket. These are a little long for me, but they're really nice. They are very flattering in the inseam you get a nice pocket. These are the kind of pants you can wear all weekend, run errands, then swap out to your sneakers and go for a run, or you could go to yoga. 10 out of 10, these items I am so happy with. The material is really nice. The fabrics are very good quality. The tailoring of these pieces, the seams and everything, very flattering, comfortable, supportive. No secret that really good quality activewear can be pretty expensive. That is not the case here with Halara. Not only are they offering top notch in terms of quality, but their items are very fairly priced. Right now though, if you use my code, you can actually save 20% off full priced items. So definitely take advantage of it. I'm telling you, these pieces are great. So I watched a movie, Deer Hunter, and that's been on my list of movies to watch. I love watching movies. It's an older movie with uh, Robert De Niro. Oh my gosh, does he ever do a good job in this? There's like no transitions in this movie. It really requires a lot of patience if you're gonna watch it, I will say that. No transitions. I mean, one minute they are out in the woods having male bonding time uh, hunting, and the next minute, Boom, they're in Vietnam. There are no like segues where they're on a train to get there and nothing. Just like very, like if you're not paying attention, then all of a sudden you look up and you're like, whoa, what, what happened? How did we get here? What's going on? There's also not a lot of true dialogue. It's mostly just banter back and forth. Visually very appealing for parts of the movie. Other parts of the movie were like, good gosh, this place looks um, like nowhere I would want to visit. Uh, Meryl Streep is in this movie. And Meryl, I, I was mentioning this the other weekend when it comes to actors that I really like. Meryl's one of those, I, I say like we're on a first name basis, but I mean, she can play pretty much any role. And she's another one of those where, like you forget that you're watching Meryl Streep. You think that you were really active watching this, um, you know, young 20s girl. And she really does a good job to the way someone that age would respond to things and talk and the things that they would say. She really, she really nails 
it's everything the posturing the demeanor so that, that was a good movie um let me know in the comments if you guys have seen any good movies recently um i think that was on i want to say it was on amazon prime oh i'm trying out that uh peri para lipstick and lip liner that i got in the advent calendar really like it i don't have good luck with lip liner but this lip liner goes on really really smoothly it doesn't skip around it's not waxy it's not crumbly it's not um slippery so that it goes outside of the line it's really user friendly and then the lipstick stays on both of them stay on all day like they don't wear off as far as the skincare that i got from those calendars i dabbled in two products already i've dabbled in two products already the first is the Isentree Chestnut AHA product. Um, I've used that several times. Not really enough to appreciate much of a difference, but it is a nice lightweight exfoliating, hydrating toner with alpha hydroxy acids. It's very mild. I've taken it down to my neck without any neck irritation. I've been using it alongside a tretinoin with no issue. Alpha hydroxy acids, depending on how the product overall is formulated, um, they hydrate, they also soften and gently exfoliate rough, dry skin. So overall, this type of product, you know, you can expect to have smoother skin, perhaps better moisture retention, and also can aid in the lightening of dark spots, hyperpigmentation. I obviously haven't been using it long enough to really determine if I'm seeing those effects for myself with it, but you know, that's what they do. I like that it's fragrance free. So I've been using that and I also uh, tried the Magno Bifida, was it Ampule Ferment? Um, too premature to really say if that is um, doing much. I've used it roughly the same number of times as I've used the Isentree product. Somewhat hydrating, soothing. It's a product that has like bifida ferment filtrate. Fermentation of ingredients, you know, it's a broad category. It's not just, oh, ferment does X, Y, and Z. Fermentation of certain ingredients, depending on the conditions, depending on the ingredient, all sorts of like little nuance factors. Um, in theory, technically can um, enrich for anti-inflammatory compounds, antioxidants, and in some cases may actually make certain compounds uh, of interest more bioavailable and have better outcomes for the skin. But again, it's a huge category. So all that to say, like whether or not the bit, the ferments in this are really that, you know, mind altering as far as the results we will um, achieve TBD. So I'm really living on the edge right now uh, because I'm actually on my way to Aldi, Aldi, Aldi. <laughs> and I don't think, now that I'm practically there, I don't think I have a quarter. And there's quite, a, there are quite a few items I wanted to pick up that I need to get. And so I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe I will find one floating around at the bottom of my purse by the time I get there, we shall see. This gentleman just randomly deciding to stroll across a major road. That is Russian Roulette. Speaking of Russian Roulette, that was a major part of the Deer Hunter movie and almost kind of Christopher Walken. Um, as I interject into my thought, Christopher Walken is one of the actors in, in Deer Hunter, and he was really young at the time, and he's like a really attractive individual. Um, attractive in like one of those, like you can't stop staring at him, and he has like very unique features, and overall a very unique way of like carrying himself. Wouldn't you know it, down in the bottom of my purse, as predicted, I have a quarter. So, Aldi, here we come. Well, Aldi has all sorts of things to organize with. People getting excited about organizing for the new year. These three pack rotating lock containers. Those things are convenient. Little foldy utility carts. How much do they want for that? 20 bucks, not too bad. Then they have a stretch pod cover set. That's great for storing produce in action. Little silicone portion trays. Arm & Hammer laundry detergent. They have a fragrance free one, not here, but the, um, the fragrance free one I really like. It's, it's good laundry detergent. Puzzles. I always enjoy doing a good puzzle. 
That one's kind of fun with the random gummy candies. Go check this out for $5 to organize your lights in the holidays. I like that. It comes with, how many of those rolls do you get? Three, three reels. It's really convenient. They also have a lot of fitness equipment here. This multi-use workout bar. $9.99? That's a pretty good price. I feel as though every time I've seen these, they've been really expensive. Look, you can flip it this way and do tricep dips. And they have this pull-up assist band. Suspended door trainer. These are some good little sets. I have quite a few of these already. They're really good for doing a variety of stretches. Ooh, they also have an exercise ball. Wow, check out this mat. That is really good. 20 bucks, wow. That's a really nice mat. Includes a carrying strap. And they randomly have a spin mop here. These interlocking floor mats are convenient too for either doing a workout or like a little play mat. Stretch and tone bar. Oh my gosh, thigh toner. This reminds me of, didn't Suzanne Summers have some gizmo like this back in the 90s? It's an infomercial. Well, hey guys, I just hopped out of the shower. I'm gonna come on actually with the Cetaphil, the Cetaphil Healthy Renew Night Cream. This is so luxe. I saw a comment though from one of you all that the smell kind of bothers you. It does kind of have a little bit of a cheesy aroma to it. Um, it's fragrance free. Uh, so I, I get what you're saying there, but it doesn't linger. Uh, so I guess it doesn't bother me, but I can get why you might find that odd. It's super rich. It's really good for as a night cream, uh, especially in the colder winter months. And I really like it on my neck. It really has a nice smoothing effect for the little fine lines and stuff. Neck skin is like super delicate. I was thinking back on that video where I reacted to um, the uh, nutritionfacts.org video on tretinoin and the VA study. I really enjoy doing those kind of videos, um, but I kind of find it's hard to find videos like that to respond to. If you guys ever come across videos that, you know, are things that you think are you know content that you'd like to see me react to information that you don't think is right misinformation um wrong information you just want to see if i agree i, I kind of enjoy doing those style videos so let me know because i think that you know I, I like doing those i have a whole playlist called response videos um you guys seem to like them and one piece of feedback that i got from somebody on one that i did this year well, this year is leaving when you guys are watching. One, one piece of feedback too that I got from someone was like, I, I remember I was reacting to TikToks um, in a YouTube video and I took the time to like actually look at the comments on the TikTok and talk about the comments and people really seem to like that. So I kind of want to do more videos like that because I think it's, you know, engaging and just a different way to talk about what's out there. Yeah. I really enjoy I really enjoy those styles of videos. I like watching them, um, and I like you know I kind of like commentary as a genre on YouTube. Where people just give their comments, you know what they think about things. I enjoy that style of video. Um, it's been popular on YouTube for a while, but um, I think it's really a cool way to like I don't know get different insights to the audience. As long as it's not, I don't like reaction videos or people who do content that's like really defamatory or just like ad hominem attacks. I'm not about that. That's ridiculous. Like I, if, if, if I come across a video and it's like that, I immediately click out because to me, it's like, you have just like lost me. You know, if you are going to use ad hominem attacks for someone, it, it, it just like whatever you have to say is, you know, probably vapid. So bye. <laughs>
So I was looking at some photographs of myself from the beginning of this year. Um, not because I just like stare at photographs of myself all the time. <laughs> that sounds really vain. I was just, you know, enjoying some photos of myself, but I, I was scrolling through my phone, looking at what I had on my phone in terms of my photo albums, clearing some stuff out, and I went back to January, January 2023, and my hair is about like to here. So this is how much my hair has grown this year not cutting it. When I cut my hair last time, it looks cute in some videos and stuff, but it was so annoying to deal with that I can't, I can't. Um, I'm telling you, people act like short hair is so carefree, but I think it's way more work to have short hair because not only is it a pain to style, um, but it starts to grow out as hair does and it's it's more obvious like if you have long hair and it grows at a normal rate it's like not that obvious short hairstyle it's like grown around your face and stuff it's just it's kind of a pain and then if you do end up wanting to grow it out you have to go through this transition phase that is you know time intensive <laughs> anyway y'all i mean short hair looks cute on a lot of people but and i don't mind the way it looks on me like here but it's just so much, it's so much work to, to make it not look ridiculous on me. Uh, anyway, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thank you, Halara, for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check the description box. Use my code so you can save on their fantastic activewear. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.